Hey everyone, I'm back again with another match review, a goalless draw at the Amex Stadium and an awful performance. You would think we would turn up after such a great game at the North London Derby, destroying Spurs apart, but today our midfield got torn a new one. But first, before I review the game, let's go ahead and run that intro. Honestly, I'm struggling to find some positives out of this game as we played really, really poor, especially in the first half. It was clear as day that Brighton deserved to win the, the game. They were the better team overall, especially in that first half. We were getting dominated and outclassed, but it's not by them being so good. It was also individual errors and our midfield getting ripped apart. It was a disappointing performance offensively, but at least... Our defense looked good. The only positives I'll say out of this game is we're still unbeaten with this back five defensive line. Another clean sheet under the belt for Aaron Ramsdale, who made a brilliant save in that second half, denying Neil Mope of a tap-in goal, which was a match-saving one. We avoided a loss, which clearly looked like a Brighton win, especially in that first half. We were getting dominated and they were playing high line intensity pressing football that we just couldn't keep up with. Brighton had a lot of shots on goal that Ramsdale made clear saves of, which I'll give him credit for. He's clearly showing leadership and showing clear communication with the players in front of him to stay in your position and covering his box as well. Something that I like to see from him. He's showing a lot more confidence, which is nice to see. But you know what? Today's game, we were just poor overall as a collective unit and although we improved in the second half it was boring to watch we got better when smith Rowe played in that number 10 position but we didn't work clinical to take advantage of the chances we had in the second half um there were two clean sheets for both sides i'll take the point overall from this game uh gabrielle had some really good uh defensive wise as well as ben white ramsdale keeping another clean sheet but that's about it for the positives. You know, overall, it was a disappointing performance. We played really, really awful. Going into this game, our players looked like they didn't have any intensity whatsoever, let alone energy or momentum. It looked like we were clueless from communication between the midfield to the defense. Defenders had to do a lot more because our midfielders did not decide to stay in that midfield. They were playing out of position. We didn't even try to press Brighton in that first half because of not being able to clearly communicate between the midfield and the defense. In the first half, our midfield was suffocated by Brighton and it was easy for them to notice. Um, there were not enough players going forward and we couldn't get a grip of the game. It showed a lack of experience overall. And something I'll bring up is this kind of showed a lack of experience with Sambi Lakonga in that pivot with Thomas Party. This game really showed how Granite Shaka, as much as some of us dislike him for getting sent off and his attitude at times, it really showed that Granite Shaka is the type of player who has the ability to make good passes and control the tempo of the game. And that's something that we didn't notice today from Sambi Lakonga. Sambi Lakonga looked very raw off the ball and couldn't handle the game. He was also playing out of position in the second half. He played too far to be partnering, too far wide to be partnering Thomas Party, and too deep to be offering options to Brighton's midfield. He was raw off the ball, and Brighton took advantage of it easily. And Lakonga made Party cover and also make a lot more runs, which made Party do a lot more work than he needed to. Abemiang, it was just not his night tonight, and it clearly showed that we should have brought Lacazette early on into the game. Lacazette is a player who, in these type of situations, works really well with the youth, but also tries to drop in deeper when we need him. A player that we needed into the game, Lacazette has better hold-up play, someone that we needed to see on early on in terms of substitutions, but we didn't get that tonight. When Lacazette came on, when Smith Rowe dropped into the number 10 position with Pepe coming on off the bench, we tried to be better and tried to make an impact off the bench, but it was too late. Brighton took advantage of us, and clearly with the 
with our players playing out of position, players like Smith Rowe and Odegaard in that first half, especially, they didn't, although like they were good in possession, they didn't seem to want to do other work like tracking back on their runs, which left space in the first half for players like Adam Lalana to easily get balls through and get shots on target. Now, we were getting pulled apart in the midfield with misjudged passes, making us lose possession and give possession away easily to Brighton for them to get shots on target, but also a lack of clinical edge, something that we noticed in games like Man City and Chelsea. And also the fact that we soaked up the pressure and we crumbled. There was no man marking in the midfield and the open space made it easy for Brighton to cut through and press us and be more of a dangerous threat. We didn't even impose ourselves in the game from the, from the start. And Tamiyasu at times was struggling as the left-sided center mid was dropping into the left back position. And Thomas Party at times acted like a, a role of a center back, which hurt us. Another thing I want to say is pushing Kieran Tierney high up didn't seem to have a positive impact in this game. It made us out of shape and put our back line under a lot more pressure, causing our back line to do a lot more work in terms of defending. Smith Rowe was much better in the second half when he went into that number 10 rule, but he still had some poor decision making. Um, in that second half itself, there was good build up play off the back of the midfield, but he should have passed it to Pepe in order to get that goal through that we needed. We had poor finishing in the final third, something that we noticed from previous games that transpired again on the pitch tonight. Um, collectively, our performance needs to be better off. It was a good month for Aaron Ramsdale, keeping back-to-back -back clean sheets, except for the North London Derby. He's showing a lot more confidence and showing that he wants to be a leader and integral to member of, of our squad. And as a goalkeeper, he's making clear communications, something that we haven't seen from Leno before. We've tried to get better in pace in that second half and build some intensity, but it was just way too late. Even when Ramsdale made through balls and long balls through, it was quite hard to reach. And the way Brighton pressed was top intensity, so credit to them. We didn't even get a way through to try to break that around and to work around that, something that we need to work on after the international break or during the international break after when we go to play teams like Crystal Palace and Aston Villa. We really need to work on communicating and decision-making because tonight we just didn't show it. Um, Brighton didn't make it easy for us as well. I'll give credit to their high intensity passing, but the performance overall was just really poor and not good enough. And again, it really goes back to being inconsistent. We defended well enough to keep a clean sheet, but it was a really poor game. And you know what? It was clear as day that Brighton should have won that game in the first half itself. We should have been three nil down, but they couldn't finish their chances. And Aaron Ramsdale made some really good saves as well. Brighton got their most possession from suffocating us in the midfield. Um, you know, even when we had the ball, we were not pushing back. We were stuck deep in the 18 to 20 yard box, inviting more pressure for Brighton just to control us. And that showed in the first half itself as they dominated the game. When we were being drawn out, our players were way too out of position to getting Brighton's wingers a lot more dangerous. And our fullbacks were isolated one on one. I'm disappointed today as there was not no dynamic on the pitch tonight and no intensity from us. You would think after the North London Derby performance, these players would give their 110% and turn up. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. And look on the bright side. Um, at least it's the international break because, boy, do we need it. We as fans need that international break because this is just so jarring to watch week in and week out. And I'll say it right now, the North London Derby looked like a one-off. The way we've been playing from the start of the season, mind you, injuries and COVID happened to a lot of teams, but we just didn't look right today. And we didn't look like we had it together as a collective unit. Although in the second half, we played well and Ramsdale made a crucial save for us that could have costed us the game, we need to improve as a collective unit. And we're seeing the same mistakes from last season. And previous games in this season, like Man City and Chelsea. We sat back, invited the pressure, and couldn't handle their high-intensity press. Now that the international break is underway, I'll see you guys in the next match review.